Hi guys, it's Firecats3 here with a brand new video. So, I was searching through YouTube and I found this video by someone I used to watch, uh, known as Project SNT. And in her video, she was taking the character uh, Sonichu. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, and I took, she took Sonichu and she redesigned it in her own unique way, uh, kind of what her take on the character was. And I really did enjoy that a lot, which got me to thinking, oh hey, you know, I've been redesigning a lot of my characters, why don't I make a video showing them my process? So this video is me redesigning one of my characters. Uh, I'm redesigning the character Selena, the penguin, uh, and the reason I chose her was because uh, she's just a very simple character that I can easily redesign that I haven't redesigned yet. <laughs> so, let's get started. First, let's look at Selena and let's just talk about her history. Let's see. So, I, I swear I'm not reading from a crypt. I, I'm just trying to remember my head. So, when I made Selena, uh, I was very young, and I used this thing called, I think it was Sonic uh, Sonic Character Creator, I think that's what it was called. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description with the actual name, but you'll, you'll figure it out. Anywho, um, so I made this character because I had a best friend, and I had just gotten into like the Sonic fandom. And I was just like, oh, you have to be a part of it, you have to be a part of it. So I decided to make her a character. Unbeknownst to her, like, this is not, like, she had no idea. Anyway, her favorite animal was a penguin, so I decided to make a penguin character for her. Oh, so original, right? <laughs> and uh, my friend was very girly. I don't think her favorite color was actually pink, but I would view her as so much more girly, because, like... Oh, she liked makeup, she liked dressing up and stuff like that, and I didn't quite like that. So, uh, that's kind of how Selena, Selena came to be. Um, I just designed a penguin that was very, very pink, uh, with my favorite shirt from the creation thing. Uh, yeah, that's, that's my favorite shirt. I love that shirt. So, now that we know her history, let's start redesigning. So, the first thing we're gonna look at, and sorry I keep saying so, I am one of those people who licks their lips and says so a lot. <laughs> anywho. I say even, anywho, I even say anywho. Oopsie. Anywho. <laughs> um, so, Selena's design. So, when I was making her, I kind of looked at the character herself and the picture I had, the like one picture I had of her. And it struck me as, like, magic. Well, not magic magic, but, like, I, I just started to feel this radiance of... She's, like, that type of character that just doesn't care what other people think, and she's, like, as girly as she wants to be. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna start designing her that way. And I decided that I really loved her shirt. And this is true, because I've already mentioned it once in this video, but I really love Selena's shirt from the maker. And um, I wanted to keep it, but I was like, okay, what type of creature am I making Selena? So I'm trying to think back, Selena, 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 and all I could hear is Sabrina, the teenage witch, and Selena Gomez was a wizard on Wave of Place. So I decided to go with witch because um, I haven't really come up with how I want to design wizards in my world of different characters that I am creating. Uh, I also had to decide on what to create witches, but I had a better idea of what I wanted to do with a witch. So I was like, you know what, let's make her a witch. So I kind of decided, well, let's do a little bit of play on the witch term, and with the idea of witches, they would have pointy noses and moles everywhere and maybe pointy ears, you know, like that's why they wear their big hats is so they can hide their ears and their faces. Um, 
Obviously, Selena's not gonna do that, because, again, like, the character I said, she's, this character is just like, I am me! <laughs> so I designed her to kind of be very, uh, to show off her witch stuff. I decided to give her pointy ears, um, like, slightly pointy, kind of almost like, uh, those, like, elf ears you see for Dungeons and Dragons. Um, not super pointy, but just, like, lightly pointy. Maybe Legend of Zelda pointiness would be a better term to think of. It's, like, not really pointy, but pointy. I also gave her a pointy but not pointy nose. Again, because I wanted to make it, like, oh, some of it is true about witches, but it's, like, been exaggerated to make it sound like they're, they look awful, but they actually don't. They actually look, like, super cute. Uh, and then I gave her a mole beauty mark, because who doesn't love having a mole beauty mark? <laughs> uh, finally, with her eyes, I decided, well, it, since she's so magical, why don't we make her eyelashes kind of look like fairy wings? So I did, like, this little curl at the very end, and I personally love it, because it also gives this, like, magical sense off, in my opinion. Yes. So... Uh, her hair was kept the same because, well, you kind of just, to me, uh, the hair of a character kind of really tells you who the character is, As, like, if you've been watching any of the cosplayers on TikTok who do the My Hero Academia stuff, they really, like, they can dress in whatever they want as long as they've got the green wig, they're Deku. <laughs> like, yeah, they're Deku if they have a green wig. Of course, you know, not everyone's gonna agree with that, but that's pretty much how it's been working with that section of the world. Um, so I was like, okay, I gotta keep her hair the same. And I kept the shirt the same, except I made it long sleeves. Uh, and then I went off on to, okay, so I definitely want to make her look very witchy, so I gave her hats. I gave her the pointy hats. And originally I was gonna give her, like, this ball at the end of it, like a crystal ball, um... I decided later that that was just too much on the design and removed it when I was coloring. Uh, let's see. I did give her like little silver pieces because, um, well, I was gonna do crystal, but it didn't really work with her design, so I did silver because I was like, well, silver is kind of thought of as kind of magical compared to like gold. Like, silver is more of the dark magic arts. Like, um,. How a witch would be betrayed. So I said silver is good. So I gave her some silver pieces, like silver earrings and a silver thing to her beautiful witch hat. Uh, finally, when we were looking, when I was looking at the legs, um, I don't know if anyone's kind of seen this cartoon, but it, it was called Witch. And no, it was not about witches. That's where everyone gets really confused. It was about these girls who were protecting the earth by closing the holes in the veil from like another place it's like a middle war it was yeah if you it was pretty good for its time i would say i haven't watched it in a while so i, I can't give you an honest opinion but i if you want to feel nostalgic and watch something that was from the early 2000s um go ahead and watch it i i, I enjoyed it as myself um but anyway so uh, in the designs of the characters when they transformed, like magical girls, uh, they had these stockings that were, uh, uh, every other, they were stripes, but it was like, one was green, one was this dark blue kind of stripes. And I really liked that, so I decided to give Selena that on her legs, because it, to me, it really was kind of like this interesting, outspoken witch thing, like it's, I'm a witch kind of look. Um, not really I'm a witch kind of look, but uh, you all know what I mean. Kind of like, it's magical. So, that's how I kind of designed her. Uh, finally, her hands, which are going to be the most fun to talk about. Um, so, you've all probably, or I shouldn't say you all have probably, a lot of you have probably seen the show Star vs. the Forces of Evil. And if you've gotten far enough that you've seen where, uh, you've watched the episode where, um, they do Queen Moon's backstory, then if you haven't gotten to Queen Moon's backstory, skip this part because this is going to be a spoiler. Um, a 
Okay, that was your only warning. So, Queen Moon learns this evil spell from Eclipsa that will kill your enemy when you use it. Really cool, like, I thought it was epic. Anyway, when she uses the spell, it kind of it causes her hands to turn this purple blackish color. So I was like, oh my gosh, that is such a cool thing to have. So as I'm making my design, I'm like, what if my witches, the, the witches I make for my head cannon, what if every time they used like hand magic, it slowly like made their hands go dark and eventually decay into dust? Um, I personally think it's really cool. So that's kind of what Selena has on her hands. Like, so you can see they're getting pretty dark, but the idea is, and again, this is, you know, my idea based on the f star versus the forces of evil. But what if, so the, uh, so the witches, every time they use hand magic, it slowly destroys their hands. And that's because it's actually taking life force energy. And that's why when you see modern witches, they're all kind of using potions and herbs and stuff like that. Because that doesn't require any life force. Whereas hand magic stuff coming straight out of you does. They're taking the magic from plants when they do potions, but they're taking life force from plants when they do potions. But when they're doing magic with their hands, they're taking the life force out of their hands, which causes the hands to decay and... You know, eventually it would go all the way up and they would start losing limbs and stuff like that. So, I thought that was a cool idea. Now, saying it out loud kind of sounds a little dorky. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not sorry. This is my headcanon. I can choose what I want. Anywho. So, yeah. Um, there's nothing special to the fact that her magic's purple. Uh, nothing more than her name reminded me of Sabrina and Selena. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, the eyes, maybe, just like real quick. The eyes are pink are because, one, I didn't want to change her total color scheme, and two, there are no other colors that I could think of that would match this color uh, scheme. Yeah. So, this is what Selena now looks like. Um, yeah. Next time, I will be redesigning um, Ty the Polar Bear, which if you've never seen Ty the Polar Bear, um, well, you're going to learn a lot about him because he actually has a really deep backstory that I will go through as I'm redesigning him um, because I made him with two of my old friends when I made him and yeah. We're gonna get into what I thought was good writing back when I was younger. <laughs> I still can't come up with good writing, but at least I'm somewhat better. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, comment, um, subscribe if you want. I'm gonna try and make more videos more often. Um, yeah. So. I'm gonna say my famous outro now. Of course, it's not famous, but here's my outro. Thank you, or thanks for watching. Uh, Firecats 3 out. Peace. <laughs>